Here at Solid Solutions, we're excited to see the start of the World Cup. I want to make sure the World Cup comes home. So we thought, why not try and use SolidCam to replicate the great trophy? As you can see, to start making the World Cup, you must start by roughing a billet of material. And the easiest way to do that is with 3D eye machining. Super quick, super easy, and gets the results that we want to do. You can see from the toolpath, we go to full depth of cut and then morph spiral out to make sure we hit all the material possible. And then we step up to get the rest rough geometry to make sure we're ready for the next operation. To make sure we cut the World Cup first time right, we use machine simulation. This takes the machine kinematics and model and the cutting data that we've put in and then gives us a visual representation to make a digital twin of what we're going to do. Make sure we can take into account anything we may have missed in the toolpath creation and know that we're good to go. I have noticed while we're roughing that the chip thickness for the swarf is constant. This is because solid cams eye machining can modify the engagement angle as well as the speeds and feeds of the toolpath to make sure that this is constant, which gives us a constant cutting force as well. So taking stock of how we're getting on with the World Cup so far is we've made a rough geometry on one side. So how do we go about doing the other side? It's the exact same process. So you can see here we've sped this up to go in super quick time to make sure that we get this done before the end of the tournament. As we get to the full depth on the second side, you can really see now it's starting to take shape. But you can see the stock has got staircasing, and this is typical because it gives us enough material to finish the job to make sure it looks exactly how the World Cup should. So with the roughing completed, let's change tools and let's change toolpath. Make sure that we get exactly what we wanted from the World Cup. That be something we could proud to be taking home. So as the machine comes into position, let's talk about the next toolpath. We've gone and simplified some surfaces, and we're going to do a simultaneous five axis toolpath. The reason for making the surfaces simpler, it makes it easier to make a toolpath that we want, which is consistent. We can see here, I can pick the faces, I can pick the tool, I can pick if I want to spiral down the job, as well as the depth of cut and step over that I want. To finish the toolpath off, I can apply a lead in and lead out, and I've got the simplified toolpath. All I need to do now is gouge check to the original model, and it propagates that toolpath onto the surface, giving us exactly what we need to finish off the World Cup. As you can see, this propagates perfectly onto the model and onto the machine, it's giving us some really good cutting. At this point, we'd like to say thank you to Moogie Franken and Shefford Hallam University by use of the tooling and the machine to make sure that we do indeed bring this World Cup home. Again, like before, we've utilised our machine simulation to make sure we don't score an own goal and break the tool or scrap the part before we've even machined it. So as the machining's finishing off, let's recap on what we've done. We've roughed with 3D eye machining on two sides and then use a simultaneous five axis toolpath to get the finished detail to make it exactly how we want. Using the Moogie Franken tooling and Sheffield Hallam University's machine tools. If there's anything more you'd like to know about machining inside SOLIDWORKS, please don't hesitate to get in touch. And I hope that your team has a great time at the World Cup.